Hello, how you doing? It's quite a grey, rainy day here in the Big L, but it makes a good excuse to stay inside and do some reading and to have a nice cup of tea. I made myself um, some chamomile tea, and uh, when I was when I was brewing this, I noticed on the Twinings box there's a figure that's reclined and reading. So uh, not sponsored by them, but <laughs> it's marketing that really speaks to me. And you can see books around the the side. So I thought it'd also make a good excuse uh, to stay inside today and do a book tag because it's been quite a while since I've done that and I, I thought I would do the end of the year book tag um, which I did last year really enjoyed so I'm gonna go through the questions and answer them uh, I'll put all the questions in the description below if you want to do this tag as well um, either make a video for yourself or if you want to just answer the questions in the comments below I'd really love to hear your answers to, to these so the very first question on this list is oh there's a siren uh, so uh, there are there any books you started this year that you need to finish and yeah I have quite a few so in my group here um, I have this book on animals which I talked about um, recently uh, when I went on a a uh, road trip with uh, my husband and I was reading aloud to him some of these stories from Susan Orlean's collection uh, which are a grouping of uh, various journalistic pieces she did all about animals because she's quite a passionate animal lover and she comes up with some really unique uh, interesting tales uh, about real passionate animal lovers um, but also issues um, that our animals are facing due to the climate crisis um, really intriguing collection um, I'm still reading these aloud to my husband often before bedtime uh, we're currently reading about um, the lives of pigeons and the the culture of pigeon racing um, uh, really like strange you know, sort of details um, uh, about um, this practice and life and ooh, here comes the Sun maybe that's a maybe that's a good sign so so uh, another book I have to finish. I read a couple stories in this collection, Cursed Bunny by Bora Chun, uh, which was listed for the International Booker Prize this year. And I haven't gone back to because um, they, they, these are quite dark and twisted. Um, so I was planning to get back to this around um, sort of Halloween time because it seems sort of suited for that period. But um, but I've still not finished these stories. But um, but yeah, a lot of people rate this very highly. Another novel I started, um, but which I set aside, I'm not really sure why I did so because I was really enjoying it, um, is The Rabbit Hutch by Tess uh, Gunty, uh, which was listed for the very first um, Waterstones Prize for debut fiction uh, this year. And I've heard really great things about, been really wanting to get to. I think it won an award recently or was listed for an award, another award recently. But yeah, um, really intriguing character at the center of this book. And so yeah, I keep meaning to go back to this and finish reading it. Uh, also, I need to finish reading uh, The Small House at Arlington uh, by Anthony Trollope, um, which I I'd started and just, yeah, wasn't, didn't immediately get into as I have other Anthony Trollope books. So keep meaning to go back to it and interestingly looking back at the um, the when I did this book tag um, last year there was another Anthony Trollope book that I had been meaning to finish that I'd started and, and didn't finish but I did finish um, at the end of last year and really enjoyed and um, so yeah want to go back to this um, finish the Barsetshire Chronicles um, that this is part of the series of and um, so yeah want to finish that second question is do you have an autumnal book to transition towards the the end of the year and my pick for that is George Saunders new collection Liberation Day um, because on the cover of this UK edition there are geese flying off um, in their migratory way and uh, so so yeah it just seems like the the cover is well suited for that autumnal transitional period into to winter and uh, yeah his fiction is so inventive and interesting and I've heard really great things about this new collection so yeah I've been wanting to get to it because yeah massive fan of Lincoln and the Bardo. Question three is is there a new release you're still waiting for um, and not one that I'm still waiting for that's actually just been published um, but which I'm really excited about and had forgotten was coming but uh, but now it's here and is published by Canongate. Um, it's called Losing 
the Plot by Derek Owusu. Um, I read his novel uh, That Reminds Me, um, which was so inventive and intriguing um, and really beautifully written. And I'm expecting this book to be the same. Um, so in this, this story, he investigates um, the tale of his mother's um, life um, moving from Ghana to the UK. And it's partially, um, he fictionally partially um, tells the story in her voice, but also his own voice and his own experience. So looking at his lineage and, and family history in that way. And um, I think it's written in quite a poetic way. You can see the, um, the lines of it are quite spaced out. And yeah, he just has such a unique voice and point of view. Um, yeah, that I'm really looking forward to this. Question four is, what are three books that you want to read before the end of the year? And I have many, many more than three, but I've uh, gone through my piles and picked out three titles that I've stuck at the top of my TBR and that I'm really looking forward to getting to and really want to prioritize. Uh, so there's The Bird Catcher by Gail Jones, um, which is a novel about an American couple that go to the island of Ibiza. Um, they're quite artistic and they encounter another individual there that kind of enters into their relationship. So it's charting that story. Um, I think this was shortlisted for the, the National Book Award um, this year. So yeah, really wanted to get to this because Gail Jones, the, the novel Palmares that she published last year was one of my favorite books of, of last year. So really looking forward to yeah this, this new novel. Uh, also, A.M. Holmes' most recent novel, uh, The Unfolding, uh, which is a look at contemporary America America, America, <laughs> through the lens of this family and uh, their various political affiliations and beliefs and ideas. Uh, then also there's um, a poetry collection called Quiet, um, just which sounds so beautiful and is looking at the, the state of um, people that are quiet. I, I am uh, naturally a quiet person. I know you wouldn't think it because I talk so much in my videos, but uh, yeah, socially and in groups, I'm often quite quiet and so is looking at um, people that have um, this predilection or um, state of their, their personality, but also looking at the author's own personal experiences with this state of being. Question five is, is there a book that you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? So another novel I, I really want to get to and I've heard so many great things about uh, is Trespass by Louise Kennedy, a story about a woman's uh, life in Belfast in Northern Ireland um, concerning the troubles but also her complicated family life and yeah just heard so many good things about this book it's another uh, title that was shortlisted for the Waterstones um, debut uh, fiction book of the year and uh, yeah just it sounds so good one I've been really wanting to to get to and that I have really high hopes for and the final question question six is have you already started making reading plans for next year. Now this is something I really try to resist doing because there are still so many books from this year that I want to get to or reading plans that I made this year that I need to, to complete or, or that I want to complete. I don't need to complete them but uh, yeah um, but it's uh, this is also a really tricky time of the year because I mean I'm very lucky that publishers send me a lot of proofs and advanced copies of books um, but I feel the real pressure at this time of year because because of all the titles I've been sent um, that were published this year, but then books that are being published next year that I'm really looking forward to and that I want to look at. But I, I'm like, no, I need to finish some books from this year. So I, I just received a book the other day that's being published in June of next year. So yeah, <laughs> looking forward to next year, but also trying to be like, wait a minute, not done with 2022 yet. And uh, But there are some titles that have really caught my attention that I'm looking forward to. And really want to get to. Um, so there's Eleanor Catton's new novel, Burnham Wood. Um, so exciting. Um, this takes place on the um, southern island in New Zealand and uh, concerns um, quite an expansive farm which is kind of cut off um, from civilization because of a landslide that um, covers a road and a group of people um, that want to start their own farm there and uh, set out to do so but also there's an American billionaire that has his sites set sites 
set on this farm and um, so wants to um, get involved in it. So it's about the, the clash between these people. Um, it's the author's first novel in a decade since her Booker Prize winning novel, The Luminaries, which I absolutely loved. So excited to, to get to this, really looking forward to this. Um, but also Benjamin Meyer's new novel, Cuddy. Um, uh, he, I read his novel that was published um, this year called The Perfect Golden Circle, which I thought was so beautiful and moving. And um, so yeah, really looking forward uh, to his next novel um, as well, which sounds like quite an interesting story involving a wide range of characters um, involving both mythology and real historical incidents. Um, so yeah, such an interesting writer. So really looking forward to this book as well. Um, my stomach's starting to growl, so I think I should go um, have some lunch. Uh, <laughs> hopefully you didn't hear that. <laughs> That's really embarrassing. Uh, but yeah, um, and also enjoying some some reading time um, in what is now what a quite a nice sunny day. Um, how quickly the weather changes here in London. Uh, yeah, it's quite wild. But, uh, but yeah, like I said, um, let me know uh, if uh, if you have want to give any answers to these questions in the comments below. It'd be quite interesting to hear your response as well. But I hope you're doing well and reading good things. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye.